I'm in three masterminds and pay about $60,000 a year to learn something that I never thought I'd learn. Welcome to Entree Real Estate, where we turn the complexities of real estate into clear, actionable steps for building generational wealth. I've invested into different types of real estate all over the United States, and I run a thriving real estate fund. Join me as we document the entrepreneurial journey of scaling businesses and transforming the lives of tens of thousands of people around the world. Let's turn your real estate dreams into reality. Buckle up, because this is the start of something truly incredible. My name is Devin Robinson, and welcome to Entree Real Estate. I'm in three masterminds and pay about $60,000 a year to learn something that I never thought I'd learn. It isn't how to run a better business. It isn't how to train my people better, where I do learn that stuff in there, which is great. But what it's really taught me, but what it's really affected and adjusted in my life has been my mindset. The mindset has been the biggest part of it. And I'll give an example. I'm in three masterminds. One of them is Collective Genius. Collective Genius is probably easily one of my favorite masterminds in the world, especially when it comes to operator heavy real estate strategy, tactics, how to build portfolios, how to wholesale, how to fix and flip, how to do all of that stuff. It's incredible. And one of the things that I've learned in there is how to really be a go-giver, how to be somebody that at the end of the day wants to serve, wants to love, wants to help people at a really, really high level. And at the same time, wants to help you to build your company to be a high performing uh, wholesale fix and flip operation, um, buy and hold, whatever you do operation in your area. It's been incredible that the community that I gained when I went into this mastermind and, and I can honestly say I wouldn't be where I am without this mastermind today. I wouldn't still be in real estate. Aww. I wouldn't be building generational wealth like I am. I wouldn't be doing any of the things I'm doing. And it's a really a testament to how that organization is run and the caliber of people that are inside of it. It's incredible. I, I, I really do. It's crazy. I was talking to Leon who runs it and I, I told him, I said, hey, I believe that because I joined CG, the rest of my lineage is affected, which is just crazy to think about the impact something like that can have. Now, one of the biggest impacts it's had on me is how it shifted my mindset. When I got in there, I used to think, oh my gosh, I own a house. I'm really cool. All this stuff. Or I wholesale, do this and that. But then you get in there and you get around people. And this is where it really like started to click for me. Hey, I uh, I run a I run a wholesale company and we we own fifty houses. I'm like, whoa, fifty houses, that's crazy. And then they're like, hey, we run this company and we have. 150 houses. And I'm like, 150 houses? That's possible. It's nuts. And then I got in a room with those guys and he was like, I own 2,000 doors. 2,000 doors? That's insane. And then I got into another mastermind called Raise Masters. Raise Masters is all about um, building capital, raising capital, building generational wealth through large asset accu accumulation. And so this is where I got into rooms with literal billionaires. So I went to this mastermind, went to this meetup, and I'm sitting with people and they're like, I've raised a hundred million. I, I own a billion. I own $2 billion worth of assets. And I was just like, holy smokes. And so I get in these rooms and this guy's, and, and in these rooms, it's like everybody, the least amount I heard was 6,000 doors. So some guy's like, I own 6,000 doors. And I was like, what? And then another person says, I own 10,000 doors. 10,000 is so many. How? Hold on, bro. I thought, I, I just, I'm like, holy smokes. But what it does is in that moment, in that time, what happens is anytime I get around this, the mastermind with these people, what happens is the ceiling of what I dream to be possible continues to raise because we all have dreams. We all have dreams of what we believe is possible. We all have dreams of what we want to do with our life. We all have dreams of what we want to achieve, what we want to accomplish. And then you get in rooms around people that do things that exceed the dreams you previously had. And then you realize what's possible. And when you realize it's possible, it levels up your dreams and it shows you that it's po it's not only possible, but you can do it because that person over there is just like you. That person over there is j honestly not as smart as you, not as charismatic as you, whatever. They just believed it was possible before you did and they did it. It's like the idea of the four minute mile. Huge deal when the four minute mile was broken. And I think this past year, like six high schoolers broke a four minute mile. Now they believed and they knew it was possible. So they did it. It's no longer something that you just dream to be far out in space and it's not achievable and I'll never be able to do it. You can do it. And it's because you're around people that are doing it. I remember sitting at Collective Genius and I was in a circle with these three guys, incredible guys. One guy, he has a, a crypto fund and a real estate fund. And I, at that time I was like, oh my gosh, wow. Like that's incredible. The stuff you're doing. I never thought that was possible. Another guy created essentially Carfax for houses on the blockchain. What? 
that guy's going to be crazy rich once he gets this thing going. Another guy sat there and, and created a presentation on how in the next 15 years, he's going to be a billionaire and talked about how he's already estimating to be at 3 billion at his current rate. And I'm just like, wow, this guy's going to be 45, 49 years old and a billionaire. And it's just like you get in these circles around these people and you realize what's possible and it elevates that for you. But what it also does is so it raises the ceiling of what you dream to be possible. But at the same time, it raises the floor of your limiting beliefs because everybody has limiting beliefs. Everybody has these beliefs of like, I can't do this. I can't do that. But when you go from, I want to have 10 doors to a guy that goes, I own 10,000, you go, of course I'll have a thousand. Yeah. A thousand's easy. I remember sitting next to somebody I was raising. So I was raising capital and I was in a meeting with the guy and not kind of pitching. We we're friends. And so he was like, and I said, what, what are your dreams? What do you want, man? And he goes, really? I want to just have 10 cash flowing properties that cash flow me a thousand, two thousand dollars a month so that I can sit on the beach with my wife and I can have monthly rev passive revenue of a hundred grand a year. And then when I got done talking to him about all of these things, it moved from, I want 10 houses to, he goes, of course, I'm going to have 20 houses is the new floor. Because when you get around people that are doing these things, the floor of your limiting beliefs begin to raise. And then you go, of course, I'm going to hit. And so it's so important for you to get into these circles and these different masterminds. And, and then third mastermind I'm in is called Fund Watch. So I'm in two fund managing and capital raising masterminds and one real estate operator centric mastermind. And it's the best money I spend all year. They say that you should spend 10% of what you want your revenue to be on personal education. So if you want your revenue, your profit to be $600,000 a year, then you should probably spend about 60 grand on education to help you to get there. That sounds crazy. It sounds like a lot, but when you get around these people, what happens is you, you spent that 60 grand and instead of $600,000 in revenue, you get 1 million, 2 million revenue because you got around people that raised the standard, raised the bar, raised your expectations, raised the quality and, and the efficiency in which you do things, raised your mindset, and then completely blew your expectations out of the water of what that year could look like because you invested in yourself. And so this is why a lot of people are like, oh, the best thing you can invest in is invest in yourself. Yeah, but what the heck does that actually look like? And so for me, it's looked like joining these masterminds, honestly, taking courses like uh, installment method course or Pace Morby's course or some all these courses that have helped to refine my skills and ability to be better at what I do. It's really important. One of the companies that I owned a while ago was a company where we created masterclass like courses for regular people because I think the personal education space is going to be absolutely just booming. I remember in 2021 when I was starting that company and I would say, hey, right now the personal online education space is at about $60 million a year or $60 billion a year industry. But by 2025, it's going to be a $360 billion a year industry. So a billion dollars a day will be spent in some sort of online education. And I strongly believe this. I think the common standard institutional college format is not going to be necessary anymore. I'm actually not going to push my kids to go to college unless they need a specialized trade like a becoming a doctor or a lawyer or a dentist or something like that. I just don't think it's necessary with the way that you can invest into your own personal education in a specific industry or niche and completely transform the lineage for the rest of your life. Cause that's what I did. I went to school and I was a religious studies major. After that, I went and I was a college pastor for a little while. And then now I run a real estate fund. <laughs> it's like, those don't correlate. Now I will say the journey and all of those things that I did and all those things I learned and all of those seasons that I have on all those seasons in life that I went through, those all have prepared and shaped me for who I am today. There is no doubt about it, but the college degree wasn't very necessary. Um, I paid for an experience and still paying for an experience because why pay for student loans when I can reinvest that money into something else? So I just think it's a really interesting day and age that we're in. I think masterminds are extremely beneficial, not just for the strategy and all the things that you learn in there, but for the mindset and the way that it shifts who you think you can be and the way that it shifts the, the perception that you have on your life, your business, your family, your friends, everything, and, and even your future. I think it's extremely valuable to invest into those things because it'll transform the rest of your life. I, I, I'm indebted to these masterminds that I'm in because they have paved the way 
to a much bigger and better future than I ever dreamed to be possible. So if you're interested in any of those masterminds or you have questions, let me know or let them know that I sent you because I do get referrals from them. So that's Collective Genius, those guys there. You can look that up, the link will be below. It is Raise Masters with Hunter Thompson or Fund Launch with Bridger Pennington. Those are incredible, incredible masterminds. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about them and I think that they can transform your life if you let them. I think masterminds, workshops, online educations, things like that are kind of like those walking sidewalks that you see at an airport. I actually equate masterminds, online education, workshops, all of those to those, those uh, moving walkways at airports. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I actually, every time I go to an airport, I will go onto the movable, the moving walkway thing and I will stand on it and I will walk as slow as I can. And I'll look over to my left or my right and I'll watch the person that is walking next to it, not on it. And I see how fast they're walking, they're speed walking. While I'm walking as slow as I can, I'm going just as fast as they are. And that's kind of how education is. I have somebody guiding me and pushing me. And honestly, the faster I walk, the faster I propel next to the person that's not utilizing that walkway. That's not utilizing the education, the wisdom of somebody else, because I think that a smart person learns from their own mistakes, but a wise person learns from others. So if I can learn and walk on the wisdom and the experience and the mistakes and the strategies of somebody else that's doing it a lot better and a lot bigger than I am, then I'm gonna go a lot further faster than the person that's not utilizing it. And I think it's extremely beneficial to do so. So I always use those walkways because I think that they move probably like 70% faster, but I will always, always invest into education and masterminds because they're always going to move me a lot further faster. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have questions, if you need anything, have any questions about those masterminds, need my help because I'd love to be that moving walkway for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you have a fantastic day. I thank you. I appreciate you and your time. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.